y'all. I'm back with another video. Thanks for coming to watch. If you're new here or returning, welcome, welcome. And so this video is a little book haul. Well, little, not little. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. And so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, first on the list, I got the new, as many of you did, Camilla D'Arco, Pop Manga Dragons and Other Mythical, Magical Mythical Creatures. And if you caught my What I Colored for the Month of May video, I had a buddy color out of this one that I shared in that video. So I got that book. I also got the Coloring Haven Gothic Fantasy Specials, special um, designs by Inez Guerrero. I hope I said that correctly, I'm not sure. I'm bad at pronouncing names. And I was super happy about this. Now I, <clears throat> for those of you who may be new to Coloring World, or just don't know um, coloring Haven this is like considered a magazine and you can get a monthly subscription um, I know that there are plenty of flip throughs of this book but I personally do not have a subscription um, I just actually go to her website and order issue by issue um, depending on because not every single issue do I feel like I have to have however for a few years now I have had it under serious consideration to get a subscription because there are quite a few of them that I like and ones I don't like my daughter does and so it wouldn't be a waste for us I guess um, but this one was really good I enjoy her work and the fact that there are 40 exclusive designs by her, I was totally in. And then another book that I got <clears throat> was Colin Thompson's something. Not sure what that says, but I have wanted this book for quite a while and I come a hair of getting it a couple different times and then I went to go get it and all of a sudden it was out of print. I was like, oh no. So I totally thought I missed out. Then it has came back into reprint and I was like, yay. And um, my bestie Amber actually jumped on it and she got herself a copy and she got me a copy as a present because she loves me. And so you may have seen this book this is what we're dealing with. Um, it's just unusual. I really like it though. I'm happy to have it. And I will be coloring in it like that. This month, a lot. This is one of those ones where you look at it and you think, wow, that's a lot going on which yes it is however it's and and my friend she you know me and her were talking about it and she agrees you know me and her our take on this book is that this is a relaxing chill book because it's one that you don't plan on getting done one sitting you don't you know you're not gonna rush through it and it's it's a take your time kind of book. It's a, you know, you were just you were just sitting there and, you know, you pick one little section or one type of object and, and you just go around and you just color a little bit here and there as you want. And it's kind of like a chill book where you just color a little something something in between maybe bigger pictures that you're doing or that kind of thing. And so that was our take on it anyway. At least us. But, you know, we're, we're weird. So, hey. Then, I, me and my friend, 
we decided to make a combo order from Linda Ravenscroft. So I have her Fairy Flowers of the Zodiac Painting and Coloring Book. Now, when we made our order, we also were gifted these Words and Whisper Oracle Deck, the Fantasy and Fairy and Angel Art of Linda Ravencroft, which I thought was really nice of her and all that. Um, she's a pretty famous artist and it has, and I really liked having them just because it shares some of her art as she has done it. So we have the Oracle cards. And it's like, I would honestly, I mean, I love art books, don't get me wrong, but I can appreciate having a deck of cards, um, just the same as having the artist art book, which she does have one put out. So there is Fairy Flowers of the Zodiac. And then I guess this is be considered her most recent book. Let me see. There's um, publishing on this. It should be somewhere in the book, I would imagine. So this is, I don't know, that's actually 2018. What is this one? So this is the newest. That one came before this one. And so then I also have Linda Ravencroft's Naughty Fairies 1. And so it came out, I just looked at it, and I'm like, yep, 2021. So hopefully we're going to be getting an Naughty Fairies 2 soon. But wait. Where it all started at. Linda's Fairy and Fantasy Art Book. Fantasy and Fairy and Fantasy Art Book 2. Fairy and Fantasy Art Book 3. Fairy and Fantasy Art Book 4. Fairy and Fantasy Art Book 5. Fairy and Fantasy Art Book 6. And last but certainly not least, Fairy and Fantasy Book 7. So as you see, we got all of the coloring books. <laughs> um, so this is just from one artist. So that's like four different artists, but multiple books from her. So I guess it depends on how you look at it. Um, it's a big book haul, I guess. <laughs> and I am going to be having up real soon a flip through of all of these beautiful books. So if you are not familiar with Linda's work, if you are curious about any one of these specific books that you have got to see a flip of, then you'll want to catch that video because I'm going to flip them all. And as you see, they're all spiral bound. The paper is awesome. It's 300 GSM. So come check out the flip through of this coming real soon like right after this one <laughs> okay so that is my book haul I actually have one book that is arriving tomorrow today whatever you want to count it as Thursday and so there's gonna be another book to share with you guys and I'm excited about that one I hope you all are doing well appreciate you stopping by to check out what books I got. I know that I love haul videos 
and collection videos and I've said that before and I will just continue to say it because it's true I like seeing what everybody gets I like getting ideas from other people's stuff and their stashes and I enjoy it so I like to share what I get or have um, to bring awareness to an artist that somebody out there new or not may not have heard of before or a book from somebody they knew of but didn't know existed or to share an art supply that might spark interest in somebody else to be like "Ooh, I want to try that or that looks cool or I've been needing something like that or you know um, I think it's a great way to share with one another amongst the community and I just love haul videos so yeah I enjoy making a haul video for that reason um, it excites me to think that maybe there's somebody and I mean I know for a lot of people that are in the community already that they are aware of this artist but you know there's so many new people coming every day um, just discovering things the way I did so many years ago and it excites me to think that this might be the first time they hear of this artist or even one of the other ones like the Colin Thompson book or anything I mean I just I think it's great so I hope y'all like it and until next time later y'all